Good morning. My name is Michelle Bosma and welcome to the Farmers Museum in Cooperstown. I know that this year has been a little different and unfortunately we are not able to gather together to have sugaring off Sundays in person at the museum. However, I am so glad that we are able to be together for virtual sugaring off Sundays at home. As we enjoy our pancakes and maple syrup, I have another thing that will bring us together. This is a story that we can share. It is called Pancakes, Pancakes by celebrated children's author, Eric Carle. Thank you to Scholastic for permission to read this book on our program. Pancakes, Pancakes by Eric Carle. Cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed the rooster. Jack woke up, looked out the window, and thought, I'd like to have a pancake for breakfast. Jack's mother was already up and busy. Mother, said Jack, I'd like to have a big pancake for breakfast. I am busy and you will have to help me, she said. How can I help? asked Jack. We will need some flour, she replied. Take a sickle and cut as much wheat as the donkey can carry. Then take it to the mill. The miller will grind it into flour. When Jack had cut enough wheat, he put it on the donkey's back and took it to the miller. The miller poured the grain on a large flat stone. On top of it was a millstone connected to the water wheel on the outside. The water wheel turned round and round, turning the millstone round and round too, to grind the grain into flour. At last, the miller handed Jack a bag of flour. Here's the flour, shouted Jack. Now let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need an egg. Jack went to the black hen and fed her some grain that had slipped into his pocket while he had been threshing. Cluck, cluck, cluck said the black hen, and went inside the hen house. Then she said, cluck, 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 once more, and laid an egg. Here's an egg, shouted Jack. Now let's make a pancake. But his mother said, now we need some milk. Jack went to the spotted cow and began to milk her. Ooh, ooh, said the spotted cow as the milk squirted into the pail. Here's the milk, shouted Jack. Now let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need some butter. Jack got out the butter churn and held it between his knees. His mother scooped the cream from the top of the milk and put it into the butter churn. Jack pushed the churn handle up and down, up and down. Finally, the cream turned into butter. Here's the butter, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, we need to build a fire. Jack went to the woodshed and brought some firewood. Here's the firewood, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. But his mother said, wouldn't you like to have something sweet on your pancake? So Jack went down to the cool cellar and pulled a jar of strawberry jam from one of the shelves.
Here's the strawberry jam, shouted Jack. Let's make a pancake. In the kitchen, Jack's mother had filled the table with the flour, the egg, the butter. There was also a mixing bowl, a cup, a wooden spoon, a ladle, a frying pan, a plate, a knife, fork, and spoon, and a jar of strawberry jam. And his mother said, put a cupful of flour into the bowl. Break an egg into the flour and stir. Pour a cupful of milk over the flour and eggs and stir again until the batter is smooth and without lumps. Jack's mother heated the frying pan over the fire and added a piece of butter. The butter melted fast. Then she said to Jack, now pour a ladleful of batter into the hot pan. After a minute or two, she looked at the underside of the pancake. It was golden brown. Now watch, she said. I'll turn the pancake over. Ready? Ready, shouted Jack. Flip, said his mother. Up and over went the pancake high into the air and landed right in the pan. In another minute or two, the pancake was crisp on the underside as well. Then she slipped the pancake from the frying pan onto the plate and spread some strawberry jam on it. And now, Jack, his mother started to say. But Jack said, Oh, Mama, I know what to do now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yum! Thank you for joining us for Virtual Sugaring Off Sundays at Home. And thank you to Nutmeg for helping us read this wonderful story. We look forward to seeing the photographs that you submit of you enjoying your pancakes and maple syrup at home. And we especially look forward to seeing you when the museum reopens on April 1st, as well as next year when we resume Sugaring Off Sundays in person. Please submit your photographs Join us when the museum reopens, and we'll see you then. Goodbye.